wintry showers, especially in coastal counties. Now for that, we have issued a low temperature ice warning throughout the week. So from now until Friday, a yellow warning is in operation throughout the week by day and by night for those low temperatures for ice. So very hazardous weather out there. But in, within that then we have an orange warning coming into effect tonight. So very cold across the country tonight. So that's for low temperatures overnight tonight, widely getting down below minus five degrees Celsius. And we also have freezing fog. So an orange warning coming into effect for the entire country from this evening, 5 p.m. until 12 o'clock tomorrow. So that's for low temperatures and for ice. Then we have some wintry showers, especially some sleet and snow showers coming into Donegal and Mayo, especially overnight tonight and into tomorrow. So for that, we have a snow warning, snow and ice warning coming into operation tonight and into tomorrow morning for Donegal and for Mayo for some snow accumulations, especially over higher ground. Then as we go through the week, we'll have further wintry showers in coastal counties depending on the wind direction we see more showers moving into eastern parts as we go through tomorrow evening and then into tuesday as well we'll have some further wintry showers especially for the northeast maybe into so the south and southwest also so really it's just a case of staying in touch then with the latest forecasts and warnings so but the cold very cold bitter cold spell of weather staying with us right out till friday at least maybe less cold over the weekend but we'll be keeping you updated on that and garshi khan is appealing to all road users over the next few days to take extreme care on our roads before you start any journey check what the weather and road conditions are like at your destination they may be different either worse or better than your starting location make sure your vehicle is ready for the journey clear your clear your windows mirrors and lights before you set out but do not use hot or boiling water on the windscreen as this can actually crack the glass. But ensure all of your vehicles clear of snow or ice, including the roof, particularly HGVs and larger vehicles. Deposits of ice falling off your vehicle when driving is a hazard to other road users. Visibility may be reduced in localized fog over coming days. Use your dipped headlights and fog lights in reduced visibility, but turn the fog lights off again when not needed. But when driving in fog, do not hang on to the taillights of the vehicle in front of you. Drive to your own conditions. In general, our appeal to all road users continues to be slow down, leave a greater gap from the vehicle in front than usual. Speed limits are not a target or a recommendation. You must drive to the road and traffic conditions you are experiencing. Road conditions will change significantly when you drive from treated roads onto untreated roads. And even on treated roads, there may still be patches of black ice or less travelled lanes may have a poor grip or road conditions. In those poor road conditions, manoeuvre gently, too much steering is bad, slow down, leave extra distance between you and the vehicle in front and avoid harsh braking and acceleration. On Garish Corner appeals to pedestrians to take care, snow and ice can make walking on footpaths very dangerous. In particular, wear appropriate footwear and in order to help protect yourself if you fall, avoid walking with your hands in your pockets. Take an extra look and time before you cross any road and do not attempt to cross if there are vehicles approaching. Remember, snow and ice increases the distance that vehicles need to stop. 